So welcome guys to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving you guys this look, how I curl my hair, what products I use, how I do my makeup. Um, also, I asked you guys on Instagram a few questions to ask me so we can do like a Q&A. So I hope you guys enjoy this chit chat with me Q&A. And if you guys do, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And I guys, hope you guys enjoy it. So if you guys wanna know how you guys can get this look, stay tuned. Okay, hello guys. Fallen Soldier. Show you guys my everyday natural light makeup routine that I wear to the gym even. Let's get started. So my primer, um, I use the Hourglass Veil. It's a mineral primer. It's almost completely out. Um, it's an oil free and it does have SPF in it which is a plus for me. And I just got back from Stagecoach last or this past weekend. Super fun. If you don't know what Stagecoach is, it's a three day country festival in Coachella near like Palm Desert area where I grew up. So it was really fun. It was me and my boyfriend Mitchell. We had a great time. We saw my parents and my dad and my stepmom Lisa. Um, ran into some other friends, which was really cool. Um, and it got like sand pitted everywhere on my face at night. So like my face is in a thorough recovery. One thing before we get into the actual application of makeup is I have gotten questions about my eyebrows, if I get them threaded, if I tweeze them, whatever. So all I do for my eyebrows is I'll just take like a little spoolie, I'll go up with them, little baby scissors, actually let me see if I can zoom you in, there we go, what's up, um, and I'll take, take these little scissors and I'll just shape and cut the like the crazy ones that are way too long. So I'll do that and then I'll go down with it as well. So like these ones like right here are just way too long. And then they get really crazy, like they get little dents in them whenever I sleep on my face weird. And they just don't want to shape up throughout the day. And then when I'm done with that, one of my favorite little tools, I'm recovering from being sick so bear with me, is I'll take this little spoolie I'll take this little spoolie, this little, it has a little blade at the edge, um, I, it's really dirty right now, I have not cleaned it in a while, but I got this from CVS, Walgreens, any little drugstore, they usually come in a pack of three, um, and I'll just go along the top of my eyebrow, and I'll get all those little baby hairs away, or like those little random hairs, and then I'll go long ways down the center because no one likes a fun unibrow and because I'm Portuguese I do have some dark hair so I do get my lip and then if need be I will go in with some little tweezers get the like the thick one for my concealer uh, for redness anything like that I use the Tarte concealer it is the Amazon Clay 24 Hour Stay. Um, I am getting my cycle this week, so we do have some extra little breakouts. And then Stagecoach did not help my skin at all. So I just cover up those little red blemishes. For my foundation, it's the Tarte Rainforest by the Sea in shade Light Natural. Am I Light Natural? No, I'm Fair, no, that's what I'm tan. I am Fair Light neutral tart or at least this line from tart that i know of is vegan and cruelty free i think that's a huge plus so it's one of my favorites that i found and this is disgusting and dirty but the new ones i got i don't like because they're different but just wet this a bit take it on the back of my hand and just go in i usually start at my cheeks and work my way out Down the neck a bit. Oh, silly me. I'm supposed to be answering questions while I do this. 
Okay, so Eat, Drink, and Be Merry said, I would love to know how you cut your hair, aka what you tell your stylist when you go in. So whenever I go into the salon, I usually just tell my stylist who I haven't really found one set stylist yet. I'll just tell them, don't touch my roots. I like my roots dark, um, but I do want like the gray, white, ashy, platinum color. I don't like any yellow in my hair. I'll just tell them, <laughs> my lips are gone, um, to blend it in. Like I don't like the, the streaks in my hair. And then just to keep the nice icy cool throughout. Um, I'm not really just what I I have a few photos on my Pinterest that I go by. And then what first got me into wanting this hair was whenever I saw Khaleesi from Game of Thrones, Hala, she was everything to me. So I loved her hair, I loved her vibe, her character in the show. Um, so that's kind of like what got me wanting to go blonde, white, icy. Um, favorite stores to shop for clothes. <sighs> One of my favorites, um, I got a really cute red play suit from Princess Polly on Instagram for a stagecoach and it was adorable and that's one of my favorite new stores. Um, there's also a store in Laguna called Kia Kaski, I think it is. It's right next to the subway if you ever want to find it and I can't pronounce it right. They have some really cute clothes, it's like a small little boutique. Besides that, I'll go to Nordstrom's, I'll go to like Topshop, I like Irene's story in the mall for like basic clothing. I'll do Brandy Melville, Iris and Poppy. It's shop Iris and Poppy on Instagram. I like them a lot. They have some really cute, like flowy clothing, like really casual, like laid back, but still super chic and clothes that I'm getting into. And I'm actually going to their, uh, or to her, it's um, uh, to her pop up shop tomorrow to get some things because I have another festival I'm going to. Lulu's is also a really cute one. Not Lululemon, but Lulu's. I've got a few things from there. I'm using the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in Light Pale. What are my long-term career goals? So one, this week, I am, if you don't know, like my whole backstory is I started like an Instagram back in my freshman year of college when I was at CBU. And then I started doing competitions end of my freshman year. So fitness is a lot of my life and I absolutely love it. So what I want to do is I want to do online coaching. Um, I love teaching girls that it's okay to be in the weight section, to be strong, to be healthy, to be confident and beautiful. So my long-term career goal is to be a personal trainer, but more than just like get paid personal trainer that just does it just to do it. Like I actually want to improve women and even guys that they want to take me up as their coach lives and just to better them and make them feel confident in themselves i think that is just like incredible to have that platform to do that to someone and i think it's just like it would just be incredible to do that um so that's one thing and then it's not it wouldn't be well i guess it would be a career but i wouldn't get paid for it i want to open up a animal sanctuary because since I've been vegan I have just really been watching a lot of like documentaries and videos about what happens to these like livestock animals and I just think it is just inhumane and just terrible that these things happen to these animals so I want to open up a sanctuary that I can go help and give these animals like for the remainder of their life better care the love freedom sunlight grass fresh water like even animals that aren't <clears throat> farm animals, like dogs, cats, like there are just so many other animals that are abused and taken advantage of and just discarded that I want to give them a place that they can be themselves, have a personality, not be afraid and just love the remainder of their life and I want to do that so badly. So I don't know when, where, what state, how that's gonna look, but that is just one thing that I am so set on that has to happen. It has to happen. I'll, uh, that was from Alexa um, Ray Cole. No, yeah, Ray Cole. Allison Fit, will you ever compete again? If not, will you ever do any other type of fitness competition like powerlifting, weightlifting, Spartan race? Um, what I just put on my face was the hourglass. It's like that, diffuse light. I'll switch between that one and the tart one. But this one, it kind of sticks to like, and like makes my 
under eye look patchy a bit, so I don't know if I'm not using it right with like what applicator I'm using, but it's just not a favorite right now. I don't know if I will ever be competing again. Right now, I love my lifestyle. I love the fact that I can eat, drink, do what I want, and then still feel great about myself going to the gym in the clothes that I wear. Um, I have still so much confidence in myself. Like I rebounded really bad from my first show and it took me a lot, a lot of time, a lot of just positive thinking to get one, back in a healthy state and then two, to actually be confident and love myself again rather than be ashamed of my body. And I really don't wanna put myself through that again. So I don't, I really don't think I would compete again. I think that it was amazing for me at the time that I did it and for those that are still doing it. I think, you know, kudos to them. It's an insane lifestyle. But right now, I'm, I just, I just want to be healthy. I just want to make memories with my friends, like going to Stagecoach, going to the Joshua Tree Music Festival. Like, I don't see myself putting my body and my health and my mentality and then obviously people around me through that. I just don't have that passion to be that, to be that dedicated to one thing for so long just for the hopes that random judges are gonna tell me, you look great, not perfect, you're gonna get second place, but like, if you just do this, like, yeah, we'll get you to first place, or okay, then I do it, and then someone else looks better than me, and it's just, <clears throat> I just don't see myself caring anymore to do that. What got me into fitness, or just being strong, I guess, is I did a lot of CrossFit my freshman year with um, some of my friends uh, and my cousin Courtney at CBU and it was incredible. So I don't know if I would ever do a CrossFit competition, but I do see myself doing like a Spartan race or something challenging, but yet fun. But like you obviously have to train and have a goal, goal oriented. So I would love to do one of those. I think that would be fun. I don't see myself doing like a marathon, like a swim, run and bike thing by any means. That's not what I would ever put myself through. But I think something like the Spartan race or like that Ninja Warrior, I think would be so fun to do. I just haven't jumped on it quite yet. Um, the brush I'm using is a Morphe brush, Morphe M527 um, with the butter bronzer. You can find this at any like CVS. It's amazing and it just smells like a pina colada. But I just take it along my cheekbones, around my forehead, my nose, down the sides, and then underneath my jawline, and then down some. Alyssa Mendez, .xo said, when did you start seriously working out like on a regular basis and making healthy eating adjust adjustments? I started, I was always an athlete, and I mean that seriously. Um, in school, I did volleyball for four years, I did softball for three years, I was MVP a few times, I was, not all state, an all-star? No, fuck, what is it called? Where you get like the patch for your for your letterman's jacket. An all-league, all I, I got an all-league, all I think it is, fuck, I forgot. And then my junior and senior year, I started doing weightlifting as like my PE credit. I'm gonna zoom you guys in for my eyebrows. So I did that, but obviously it was like on a routine. My like PE teacher made it up for us and things like that. But that's where I started getting into it. But then when I started working out every single day of my life and making it my life, was freshman year of college, I would go to CBU's gym because one, it was incredible. I need to move you guys back a bit. And two, I just needed to start doing things. So freshman year of college, that was 2014, so we're four years into this. 2014, I started getting into it every single day and then being with um, seniors, which my cousin Courtney and Cole, Javi, Andrew, they were, they're all nurses. Uh, they were in the nursing program at CBU, so they all knew about um, nutrition, food, they took me to CrossFit classes. Um, so that's how I started getting into it, and then going into the competition as far as a bikini competitor. Um, I learned a lot about just like macros and food, and obviously I was like depleted, but it was just making me more aware of my food choices. So freshman year of college is whenever I really started getting into it. Right now, this spoolie I got from like a Maybelline kit um, for like eyebrows a while ago, but the one that I'm actually using for my color is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pod in taupe. It is very much so loved and adored. 
Uh, Brooke Crawford 13 said, I think I've heard you mention yourself doing CrossFit in the past. Would you ever go back? If not, how come you stop? Um, so like I said, I credit a lot of my strength to doing CrossFit. Um, I absolutely love it. I love pulling and pushing heavy weight. I think it is so just like, it just fucking feels so good to do that. Okay, for eyebrows, I pull up the ones closest to like the center and then I'll pull those up and then I'll just push the rest to the correct side. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, and then I'll dip it and then I'll just make it like a thin edge. So it's not like, you know, I'm not going to apply a thick edge. But I would go back to CrossFit, which I'm kind of in like a CrossFit cross style training right now. I just joined Work, which is out in Irvine, and it's a really cool like cross training class. Um, and they have a lot of semi CrossFit moves, like weightlifting moves. Um, I think it's just a really well rounded program, and I really love what they're what they're doing. So I'm in that, but I don't think I would go back to necessarily just straight CrossFit because in college I was being stupid and one of my friends teased me that I couldn't pull uh, or I couldn't clean this uh, certain weight. I think it was like, like I think it was maybe a hundred or something pounds, which I can easily do, but I wasn't warmed up correctly. And so my ego just got the best of me and I went, cleaned it. And then whenever I was dropping underneath it, my lower back nerve pinched. And it was legit hell on earth for me for maybe two weeks. I cried myself to sleep. I couldn't shower without crying. I was It was really just terrible for me. Um, and so I know CrossFit is a lot of lower back movement. Um, so I don't think I could actually do a CrossFit class without having to alter some sort of movement, which is totally fine. But I just don't want to repressure that, which I've done before. I went to a CrossFit class maybe a year and a half ago. And it was a lot of like kettlebell swings and like lower body motions and my my back definitely definitely hurt and so I just I can't see myself doing that just for the sake of like my body. Okay, Tia Lipovesky Lipovzek. I've talked to her on Instagram before, but I just can't pronounce your last name. I'm sorry. Um, what inspired all of your tattoos? So right now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six tattoos. I'm gonna be going on my seventh pretty soon. But my six tattoos, okay, so uh, my first tattoo ever is my sister's birthday, November 22nd, 93. My second tattoo, I believe, was these bands. They have no significant meaning whatsoever. I don't know where I saw them, and it definitely wasn't fucking Teen Wolf, guys. But I don't know where I saw them, but I just like got it in my mind that I want these bands on my arm. So I did it. Um, and then for my 21st birthday, I got this tattoo. I saw this on Pinterest somewhere, I think, and I just fell in love with it. So I got that tattoo on my 21st birthday. Then on October 31st, this past year, I got Dakota's paw print and I took a ink pad, I put her paw on it and I put it on the paper and I rolled it. And so this is legit her paw print and I'm, I love it. The other two, I have the word choices on my foot, which I think is like my third or fourth tattoo. And then I have good old Bernard on my ankle right here. I got, um, and Bernard, I got with my friend Marley, who's on my Gains and Bolt team when we were in Vegas for Olympia. And I was gonna get my nose pierced and he was gonna get his tattoo, but the piercer had left so I was just like, well, I can't like let you just get a tattoo by yourself. So I was like, shoot, am I gonna get cactuses or am I gonna get a little dinosaur? So I picked the dinosaur and um, I love them. So take that very used it brown and just put it on the lids. And how did I and Mitchell meet? Mitchell and I, whenever I was living here before I moved to San Diego, I was working at a restaurant as a host um, and he was a server. And he would come over and stand next to me, and I thought he was so cute, but he wouldn't say one word to me. He would just be like, sup? And I'd be like, hi, how are you? Good. And we'd just stand next to each other, not freaking talk to each other, and I thought it was so bizarre, but I was just like, I'll take it because I really like him. Um, and then he later on told me like he was just so nervous to talk to me. We hung out for like one or two nights right before I went to San Diego and then I just thought I don't want to do long distance before I leave to San Diego like I don't really know him that well so 
what's kind of like the point. So then we somewhat talked here and there while I was in San Diego, but nothing, nothing really happened. And so whenever I moved back, I got my old job back and then I moved up to, well, I, I took the job in Newport with the same restaurant owners. And we started talking again and we started hanging out and like we went on a date and a movie date and then we just kind of were inseparable. Um, and then finally he asked me out to be his girlfriend on October 13th. So we are going on seven months this 13th. Now I'm just taking this dark color right here on a MAC 239 brush. And that's how we met. And now he is going into business with my stepdad, Mike. And we are in for an adventurous life together. Sorry, my camera overheated. Um, but all I was using was the Benefit Their Real Mascara. Looks like that and just went on the tops and the bottom of my lids someone asked um what's your current training regime do you still track macros are you competing again so um like i said probably won't be competing again do i track macros no i just eat intuitively just never really found tracking to be fun or to be my sort of lifestyle i don't think i should tell myself no i can't have something uh, obviously within limits, but I just don't think it's how I want to live my life. Saying, I i can't go over this many calories or I can't have this because it has one more gram of fat than I'm supposed to have. I just think that's just, just like, why not compete then, <laughs> you know? Highlight is the Physician's Formula, the same one as the Bronzer brand, in champagne with a Real Technique brush looks like that. And then now I'm just taking the Anastasia, 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 Anastasia Honey Matte Lipstick. Yes. Um, right now I really don't have a set routine. I train legs twice a week, glutes three times a week at least, and then because I take the workout class um, work, I don't really have anything like set because I go there like two, once, three times a week, um, and that's like a full body usually or like lower body specific. So I don't really have like Monday this, Tuesday this, it's kind of just like what I'm feeling, but I'm making sure I'm still being mindful of hitting all of my muscle groups so that I'm not favoring something. Amber Fish said, how many times a week do you work out? Do you track macros intuitively? So I eat intuitively. Um, I work out pretty much six days a week. Some days uh, or some weeks I take like two days off depending on how I feel or just like stressed or busy or just like exhaustion. Like I don't force anything, but I still obviously have goals to meet. Let's get hair going. One question that I got asked for like my shampoos and conditioners. The shampoo that I use is this from Sally Hansen, I think, Beauty, Beauty World, I forgot. But it's just Signature Blonde Violet Shampoo from Color Proof. And then the conditioner I use is the Silver Brightening. I got this, I think, at CVS as well. But those are the two that I use. And let me get my beauty products so we can start taming this mess. Lindsay Perez says, I would like to know which nose ring you have in. My hoop and I aren't getting along right now. So the hoop that I have in is like a little black one and I got it from, well, I actually got my nose pierced with this one. Like I never went to, I never had a stud in it. But um, I have no idea what straightener this is, but I think I got it from the cords over there and it has that little tag on it. So I'll link it below or I'll put the um, website below, but I think I got it from like Sephora. But I got my hoop whenever I got my nose pierced in, I think it was Huntington. I went with some girlfriends and we all got piercings and tattoos that day on the 13th. But um, yeah, I love it. But I'll take about an inch of my hair, straighten it, and then I'll twist it so it goes away from my face. Like so. And usually I'll just straighten 
most. I'll straighten it first, kind of, and then I'll go in and curl it. Presley PK Fit said, what camera do you use for filming all your workouts? I'm also curious about how you have so much muscle, especially booty and legs, but keep a small waist. Like, is your diet the same or do you carb cycle? So I used to carb cycle, not anymore. I only carb cycle whenever I was prepping. Um, but as far as my camera, like the one that I'm using right now to record YouTube videos is a Sony a5100 but as far as the majority at least lately the majority of my workouts have been recorded on my iPhone which is the Apple 7 iPhone and then train I train for strength and I'll do a like three to four heavy sets and then I'll do one lighter set that's more of like a burnout or just something to like exhaust my legs and then if I feel like fluffy or if I just feel like I am getting a little bit too fun with my food then I'll go ahead and I will implement some cardio but I really don't know like I don't have something specific that says like I'll do this this and this and then I get a skinny waist like it's just dieting obviously if you have bigger if you have um, like a wider back it makes your waist look skinnier or smaller per se um, because it's like a tapered it's like an hourglass so if you think of legit hourglass the top is your shoulders and then it goes to your waist like so train and widen your back a bit and then it'll also help with the illusion that you do have a smaller waist and then if you train your butt it goes out so I would say that's just one thing that I've learned to do is train for that look is Train my back, don't neglect my back, and then, you know, just build your booty three times a week and just give it time. Oh, it's a baby. Did you want to appear? No, it's a baby. Oh, it's a baby girl. This is Dakota. She's everything to me. I adopted her my sophomore year of college at the um, Van Buren Animal Shelter. And she has been nothing but a joy in my life. Um, Dama Darlene said, do you still go to school? If not, what made you decide that? So right now I took a semester off because I didn't know where I was moving to. After I was going to leave San Diego, I didn't know where I was moving to. So I took a semester off and now, which I guess today I should apply for a summer class. I need to take one math class. I've taken like all the other core four classes in order to transfer. So I just need to take that one math class, be able to transfer to a four year. And I think hopefully if everything transfers, I'll have maybe like a year or so left of school to do to getting my degree. My degree will be in nutrition and food science. So my hair right now, I kind of pull a little tight on it um, not too tight and then I just kind of mess with it a little bit this one kind of flattened out my left side tends to flatten out which is annoying so now that we're getting to the top of my hair I usually switch to my curler and then again I'll just take maybe an inch or so Roll it away from my hair. Open and shut it on the way out and then hold it a bit. Kind of pull it because I don't like my hair to be super like tight curls. I do like the long ones. And then that one I put under the barrel. This one I'm just going to go over the whole barrel and pinch it down on the ends. With my bangs though, I will take my straightener get all those baby hairs together and then take it and curl it out and away um so this I'll take my straightener and I'll just clean up the ends of it and then this time I'll take it clasp it put it away from me this is bigger than an inch let it flow away twist it away from my head and then sometimes I do just go back and forth with curler straightener 
just so they don't always like having the same size curls or the same like form because I don't like them when they stick together. And this is pretty much the finished product. Um, I do have a red lipstick that I'll link below. It's from Tarte that I use to have like a little bit more of like a glammy natural look, but this is pretty much the finished look. Hope you guys liked it. And if you guys wanna see any more get ready with me videos or chat with one, chatty get ready with me videos, just let me know below. But I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys for the next video.